Welcome back to Houston Live. Darren Tompkins started Headlock Hot Sauce during the pandemic when he couldn't find more of a specific hot sauce he really wanted to fall in love with, right? Yeah. He was, he was very specific about his taste. So the trio of sauces is inspired by 80s pro wrestling and uh, really packs a punch. Now, you don't have to go too far to spice up your life because they partnered up with Walmart to bring every fiery sensa sensation to store shelves that are close to us. Darren and his wife, Stephanie, are joining us with the story behind Headlock Hot Sauce. Let me tell you what I love so far. The fact that you liked something and you said, oh, I want more of that. You couldn't find it. And you said, I'll just make it. I'm just gonna I have a problem I'm gonna solve my own problem it's here nice. yeah so and, and this was during the pandemic so just tell us about how it all started uh, yeah so my uh, neighbor Mike had given me he was kind of a spice head and given me a carrot based hot sauce out of uh, somewhere on the East Coast and we ate it up and went back to order some the company just wasn't there anymore so went online kind of found a basic recipe started playing around with it giving it to friends and neighbors and finally said hey we like this if you bottle it we'll buy it and that's kind of like Light bulb. Light, light bulb. Okay, but what was missing, Darren? In most hot sauces out there, what was missing that you didn't like? Because there are a, a ton of different hot there sauce are. brands and, out and there. And that is, there are hot sauces out there that have carrot as an ingredient. All of these are carrot-based. The carrot's a natural sugar that smooths out the flavor and the kind of uh, heat of salt on your palate. So these are formulated not to melt your face, but to complement <laughs> food. Yeah, That's and good. we use the whole yeah. vegetables. Like we you know, we don't vegetables. use um, a powdered substance. A lot of hot sauces just use a powdered substance with the vinegar or the water, and so you don't get like the really robust flavor of the vegetables. Okay, and you were in on this idea when he said, babe, let's just like make hot sauce. <laughs> and you said, okay, I'm, he I'm down. He is the king of ide ideas, and this one was a really good one, and I said, all right, let's do it. Wait, <laughs> hey, wait Stephanie, are you as big a fan of the 80s pro wrestling stars? Because this Darren was like Hulk Hogan era. <laughs> Randy Savage, jam, right? Yeah. right? Were you also a fan? Um, I, I actually wrestled in high school. I was on the boys um, hang on, hang on, high school on. team. She was one of the original all-American wrestlers. <laughs> Let's go. go. Are you kidding? So I was on like, yeah, I can get on, on with this. <laughs> Is that why you two fell in love? <laughs> no. We're both wrestlers, but not we, we met here. Yeah, yeah. But wait, when did you find out that this uh, was this like a first date conversation? Um, I mean, I know I always talk about being like having wrestled because it was a in I guess a late nineties, early two thousand. There weren't girl. Wrestlers. It was an unusual thing yeah, for a girl to were, do. Yeah, and you were you were having to wrestle on a boys team and have an accepting coach, which I was so fortunate. I had a um, nice man that was really just encouraging about me. Awesome. He was like, she's crazy. She yeah. wants to wrestle. I will do it. That's perfect. Exactly. And then the, was that an easy to agree upon the name? Headlock yes. Hot Sauce? It was very Yeah, easy. you know, the uh, I wanted to do pro wrestling, didn't know the name, and then Stroke Luck number two, hey, the website was available. So <gasps> Yeah, that's a big are. one. Yeah. It's a big one. Mm -hmm. I can imagine, too, if you have a brand and then Walmart decides to carry it, that's got to be like... It's a big deal. And this all just came about recently over the holidays to where we are now. So it's uh, we're still fresh to us and how we're we're doing the right. How does out. that even happen? If someone out there is watching and saying, like, hey, I have an idea for a business, you just mentioned you started formulating it at home, you were giving it away to friends and neighbors. How do you go from giving it away as a gift to suddenly being on the shelves at Walmart? It, it is a very much a um, relationship based business like everything else. Uh, it's not necessarily we, we fired it out before to the major retailer. Fired it out. As in we said <laughs> It's a good fun. <laughs> So we, we send it samples out, but you're you're backing up against thousands of other products that somebody has to try. And right. Out. So really for us, it's we met the right guy uh, who, who does channel sales for a lot of other companies. And he said, mm -hmm. we love your product. Um, I'm going to send it to my friends. And then they started talking. And then here we are at Walmart. Wow. And then it has been well received by the hot sauce community. Hot sauce enthusiasts like it. We're going to try some of these. Where do you want to start? Yeah. So we'll start at the bottom, which is our hammerlock jalapeno lime. This That's one. the green one. Okay. Uh, these are mostly de-seeded jalapenos. Our six-year-old will take this to school. Mostly de-seeded. Uh, <laughs> Every now and then you get a seed in there, you know what happens. All of the seeds are out. So uh, what's the heat level? Lots of lime, mm. lots, of, lots of cilantro zest. It's our mild sauce. Our mild we sauce. say that most everybody can handle this. You know, some people say I yeah, absolutely can't handle any heat. So we have to say most. <laughs> you no, know, I like the limey. Lime. I like yeah. the limey. Okay, see, I want to get more of that, but we have to move on. I, okay. okay. I love the lime flavor. Um, here. That is really, really okay. good. Okay. Do you want to try it with the ice cream? Is, I wouldn't call it mild. No, no, no. We have some wait, here. Is this wait, one? That's, oh. that's the super. The, that's the, a super hot. We're going to go medium right Okay. Here. All right, let's say. Uh, Baby well, steps. I'm sorry. Baby I'm sorry. steps. I just grabbed the next one in line. Okay, okay here Ready? we go. Wait, did you, did you ask if we want to try it with ice cream? Yeah, do you want to try it with the ice cream? Oh, can you please explain Yeah, I'll pour this? it on the ice cream. Um, so the sweet of the ice cream is a really, actually a nice balance for hot sauces. 
So you can always put it on top. You could grill um, some really nice sweet fruit with yeah. the hot sauce. Mm. Hey, Derek. Oh, okay. Thanks, so Derek has made me eat cottage cheese with mustard, so I'm just gonna eat this. <laughs> this so, is a first. For uh, this is a brand new chef, thing for me. Uh, Richard Knight came up with the idea for with us to put it on ice cream, mm. and um, he was weirdly good. Feast, and now he's over at Maker's Mark. Um, well, he is a yeah. smart man because a this is a delicious man. combination. Mm -hmm. I would never in a million years would have. Thought oh. about putting ice cream in it. <laughs> oh, I like the after hit. And nice. it's cold, but it's spicy. Oh, this could go viral on TikTok. <laughs> that is really, really good. Ooh, good are you call. finding that your fans are creating some unexpected combinations? You better like believe it. We, it. When we first That's started good. out, we didn't know what to pair it with. So we were asking people, what do you got? And then everything from sushi to ice cream and everything in between. People yeah. are putting it on. Yeah, and this one is a great. jalapeno habanero mix. Okay. And then our next one is our su uh, suplex super hot. This habanero? is a super hot. Yeah, um, um, it's all, but what ends up happening, okay, we, we, the way the chemical with the carrot and the habanero, it's called a back end burn. It'll take a few seconds for it to creep up on you. Uh, it's not, not an immediate. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, he's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> I like it. A back end burn could have multiple <laughs> definitions. By what, the way. Eric? <laughs> I'm sorry. It'll yeah. boost your metabolism. You are not. Put that on. It'll, mo it'll boost your metabolism. What do you have to do to earn the belt? So, good good question. Oh. so Looks this good. weekend, we partner up with a local um, Texas-based wrestling promotion called Lions Pride Sports. And at Captive Studios, they're putting on their winter warfare uh, here in Houston. Uh, it's their first time being in the Houston area. And you can go fight the heavyweight champ for that. No, you know what? Do it, Derek. I think this is such a great story because we've mentioned <laughs> on the show so many times a lot of people have ideas. Very few people actually execute. Follow through. Follow through. Yeah. And not only have you followed through, you've created this back end burn situation that <laughs> I will be feeling for a while. You're crying, Derek. Is this hot one? So really this one is stuff. our Royal Rumble. Um, this is a Royal Rumble. It, it's um, it is hot like this one, but it, uh, it has a very special blend of peppers. It's complex. Yes. Yeah, scorpions, we, um, Caribbean reds. Yeah. Uh, some other stuff we actually grow in our raised beds in the Heights. Literally. I like it all. I like it all. Surprise, surprise. Awesome. Okay. So beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. We could hang out with you guys all day. We'll talk more <laughs> during the break. I'm going to need some of this. So mm. Darren and Stephanie, do not forget to pick up a bottle next time you're in Walmart. Or you can head to their website to order these. You can click the scene on Houston Life tab on HoustonLife.tv. You can learn more all about that. We're going to have to eat some of that ice cream oh very gosh. soon. <laughs> my mouth is okay. on fire in the best way. <laughs>